Here's exercise number two. Sure. Feet are parallel, hip distance apart. Make sure your posture is aligned and you're grounded. If you don't know what that means, go back to my posture videos where I explain how to align and feel and stay grounded. You start by pushing your wrist all the way up. You're inhaling and you're exhaling. When you inhale, you relax. When you exhale, you start pushing it as far back as possible. Nothing should hurt. You should feel elongation, but it shouldn't be painful. Stay here for about 15, 20 seconds, then you switch. I'll show you from the back. Make sure your shoulders are down, nothing like this. You start from here, inhale, and then exhale, you start pushing. It might not be that far at first, but you'll get there. So stay consistent, keep pushing. 15 to 20 seconds. A great modification for this exercise is if you do it and at the same time, bringing your chin down. Tucking your chin just like that and pushing your wrist, your arm backwards. You'll feel a lot of elongation in your spine, in your neck, and it stretches and relaxes um, your back muscles, which a lot of the times they're really tense. And this exercise is one of my favorite, correcting posture, but also working with your focus and your patience. Come to the wall as close as possible. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Your heels are touching the wall. See where you're at. Right now, when you're against the wall, you might be a little bit uncomfortable. Your lower back is touching the wall. Your shoulder blades are touching the wall. Your cuff muscles are touching the wall and your heels are touching the wall. And it doesn't happen very often, the back of your head is also touching the wall. This is where a posture should be. For most of the people, it's pretty uncomfortable because our head forward is a new normal. But this is why I'm talking about focus, attention, and patience. Be patient with yourself. Cactus your arms. You might feel a little tight here. For some people, it's almost impossible, and you might just stay here or a little bit lower. See where you're at. If your back is really far away from the wall, like that, engage your core muscles. Just tuck in your tailbone to help yourself. Nothing should hurt. If it does, type in the comments your question, and that, that it's your problem, we can address it. Let's start bringing, sliding your arms up very slowly, back and forth, 10 times. At the same time, you can close your eyes and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Continue on, let's do it 10 times. Your arms are sliding. The whole time, your heels, your lower back, your shoulder blades, and the back of your head are touching the wall. Let's do four more times. You can do as slow as you want, as fast as you want. But usually, if you do it slower, and you inhale and exhaling, you're also training your focus and your patience. Your shoulder muscles are also engaging, and you might feel a little tired. And the last one. 10 times is enough. You do it in the morning and in the evening. That's a good training for your posture. Give it a try. After this exercise, just roll your shoulders back, shoulders forward.
shake your arms and give yourself a big hug. Always give yourself some love.